Hey friends, are you unsure of what to say on social media or what to even send in your weekly emails? Well, what if creating content could be easy? Would you be looking for a shortcut to creating consistent content? Yes, consistent content, because you know consistency is key. Well, let me tell you, you are not alone when you feel like you're struggling on what to post or what to write in emails. And we know that you have that product part of your business down. But as you're listening to this podcast, you probably already know that to get more people to your products, to buy your products, you need to create great content. Oh, I know, I see. I keep saying content, and that's the dreaded C word. And we can't tell you how many product bosses tell us that they want to create great content for their audience and their customers, but they don't know what to say, or they are so busy, they can't find the time, or they really, really, really don't want to be the face of their brand. Well, no worries, because that's exactly why we created a year of content. It is your shortcut to creating consistent content that resonates with your audience and brings more loyal customers who can't wait to buy your products. If you want to see how easy this is and how easy it is to create content for your audience and your customers, head to www.ayearofcontent.com. Welcome to the Product Boss Podcast, where we help product-based businesses grow their sales and improve their strategies. Hey, everyone. I want to introduce you to my co-host and biz bestie, Mina Kunlo Sitap, an Amazon guru that has built a multi six figure product based business. In introducing the other half of the product boss, Jacqueline Snyder, she has helped launch and grow over 500 fashion apparel and accessory brands, even one of her own. And together, we share our inventory of secret weapons that will help you dig deep and do the work it takes. Are you ready? Let's build together. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Product Boss Podcast. I'm your host, Jacqueline Snyder, with my partner for life, Mina Kunlo Sitep. Hey, Mm -hmm. Mina. For life. (laughs) We get tattoos and everything (laughs) for the number four. (laughs) Yeah. But then it would be like for life, which we really are going for for life. For life. Anyways, we say this because let me just say something right here, right now. It's a, my, my declaration to the world. Oh, um, gosh. <laughs> I know, it sounds mouth. really dramatic. We would not be here today had we not done this together. A hundred thousand right? percent. I was going to say hundred thousand number million two. percent. But that obviously is <laughs> just a made up number. <laughs> I was going to go there too. But I mean, that's the thing, right? So we didn't know that we needed each other to get here. We didn't even, we didn't even know, you know, a few years ago, this was not even an idea in our brains. And how did this idea come about? Well, we started putting ourselves out there and we started finding support, right? We started finding coaches and communities. We started masterminding with other people. We got involved in groups like Mina and I met each other in a community that was high six figure female owned businesses. And we reached out to each other and we connected. And then, you know, obviously that magical day sparked and turned us into where we are now. (laughs) Then here we are. Right. And the thing is that we found each other and it was not that we intended it or anything like that, but I do think that it was the perfect season of our lives to meet each other and to kind of be like, hmm, this person's relatively cool. <laughs> but when, <laughs> relative, that's all. <laughs> but here's the thing, right? When we met each other, we weren't like we met and we're hitting it off and we get each other and we're going to start a business together. We actually, for the first, you know, we dated. Yeah, for we six just to enjoyed each other's company. Clearly we still but, do, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> but we talked, we talked about business. We talked about, I reached out to Mina for support in my product-based business that was, you know, multiple six figures being sold globally. And I didn't know what to do. And I did not have a support system around me. I had just for 10 and a half years figured out my business on my own. And right around that time too, I was actually in a mastermind. But remember, I owned a service business and a product business. So my service business was consulting startup fashion brands. So I know how to, you know, do service and I know how to start fashion brands and all that as a fashion designer. But with my product business, I didn't have anyone around me that understood product or inventory or production or dealing with, you know, 
my sewer who made a thousand extra pieces that I wasn't planning on paying for or working with Zoo Lily and all the things I was doing. And so when I found Mina in this other group where she also didn't have other product people to talk to, and I was like, I have a product. Do you have a product? Want to be friends? Mm-hmm. <laughs> in short, right? Mostly it was like, hey, I really want to get onto Amazon. Would you be willing <laughs> to get on a call with me? I'm like, sure. No, just kidding. It was definitely, I I think. But it was, it was, it was, I was, I I was looking for advice on something around the product space and I couldn't find that from, you know, even the people I was in a paid mastermind with. Right. And so I do think that, you know, I've met a lot of people on my road to entrepreneurship and I think Jacqueline has too, and they all are beneficial in in different ways, right? And and on a two-way street. So it's not like, just like, I'm just only thinking about my journey here myself, what am I going to get out of it? I think the thing that I want to get across to all of you is that you will pick up stuff and you'll retain certain relationships or certain support that you need, but it'll look different for every relationship that you build. But be willing to put yourself out there to develop these relationships. And you know, I am hesitant to call them relationships because I don't want you to think that you have to like commit to this big relationship sort of thing. It's finding the support. So the micro support even mm-hmm. that you that you need in your life. Does yeah. And so yeah, you're not gonna, gonna find gonna a Jacqueline do- every time, okay? That's what I'm trying to <laughs> I say. I got the I got the final rose, everyone. <laughs> I got the final rose. <laughs> there were <If> others. You- <laughs> And there were others. That's right. So, you know. And, and if you're listening, I'm sorry, but I, I won. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. But here's the thing, right? What we want to talk to you about today is that success is not, you know, the thing here is that it's um, the path to a million dollar business, right? That success that comes with becoming a million dollar business in that path is not something that you do by yourself. So when we look at these businesses that have grown and, you know, we're in awe or we follow people or, you know, maybe we started at the same time as somebody else and they've grown. What we want you all to realize is that path to a million dollar business is not something that was done alone. Mm -hmm. It's done with others. And we're going to kind of dig into others. Now, does it mean you bring on a business partner? No, I have my other business still that I've had for 15 years. I've never had a business partner, but when things changed for me was when I collaborated, met with people, powwowed, you know, like the good old days where we got together in person and chatted business with people. But it's hard for my consulting business. I did it all on my own from the time that I was 26. I didn't have a coach. I didn't have a mastermind until I was like 10 and a half years in that business. But I remember one day I was, I put stuff outside of my door and I was in an office building in the fashion district in LA and I was getting rid of stuff. So I put it out in front of my door. I got a knock on my door and there were two people standing outside the door, a man and a woman. And they're like, are you giving this stuff away? And I was like, yeah, I've never even told you this story. And I was they're like, are you giving this away? And I was like, yeah, you can have it. And like, what do you do? And I had a sign on my door that said designer consulting co-op. And it's like, oh, I'm a fashion consultant. Like I help people start clothing lines. Oh, amazing. And they're like, well, we're pattern makers and sample sewers, but we have a development company that is like really... It wasn't just like a random sewer that you went to a random pattern maker. It was the whole development. And so what did we do? We partnered on projects and they helped me figure things out that I would have never figured out as a 26 year old. And our first clients, we shared all of the clients. They went to me, they went to them, they came back to me. And I remember building operations around that. I remember the first time I like time blocked my schedule was because of the way they were operating. So there's things that we do that we figure it out. I started the business and figured it out, but I optimized my business and grew it because I had a random knock on my door. Now, the cool thing now is that there are masterminds and there are places we can go to with like-minded people and do the same thing. And it's not just coincidence of someone knocking on your door. Yeah, there used to be like these old adages that were like lonely at the top or the extra mile is never crowded or whatever. Well, try inviting some people. Then it wouldn't be so lonely or look around and see who is on the extra mile with you or on the top and make some friends, you know? Or that's what a mastermind sh- is is really is, right? So you have the extra mile, let's just call it the extra mile mastermind. And you look around, and you're like, hey, I feel lonely too. What do you do? You know, and you are open to the idea of having a conversation and maybe you hit it off, maybe you don't. Maybe you find somebody that impacts your life in a little way or some somebody that impacts your life in a big way or you impact their life and that in turn impacts your life because you're impacting other people's lives. So it just is different than it used to be on being 
kind of proactive being, you know, we call it putting yourself out there, but it really is about making your life more fulfilling by opening yourself up to the fact that you should not do it alone. Yes. And a lot of times we do do it alone because we started it alone. Yeah. Or maybe we've done it because maybe your your husband or your wife or your spouse or your partner, you've decided to do something. And, you're, and I think that's the benefit of you and I is that we had each other to bounce ideas off of. Mm-hmm. But the majority of people out there don't have someone to bounce ideas off of or to strategize with or to peek behind the curtain and say like, what's out there? So you know, getting to that million dollar business is not something you do by yourself. Now we can dive into the idea of hiring teams and what you need for help and like getting out of your own way and not being the bottleneck and getting people to help you. We could do that, but that's actually a different conversation for a different time. It is. You know why? Because most times when you're a million dollar business, let's just pretend, you know, million dollar business, you should not be talking to your staff. You should not be talking to... um who else, you know, like the people that work for you and trying to make these really big decisions with the people that work for you is really, really difficult. And thinking that they're your friends or that that's the person that will help you make a decision. At the end of the day, you're the one that goes home with the risk, the insurance bill, the tax bill, all these different things. So while it is really important to be able to grow a team, it's also very, very important to grow a support system for yourself outside of the team that you're cultivating. Mm -hmm. But before we dive any deeper into this episode, I do want to invite those of you out there. So ears up if your business is making over $250,000 to multiple millions and you are a product boss. Okay. We have a live masterclass specifically for you. So this is for you if you've built your business to this high level and you're unsure what to do next to take your business to the next level or to take your mindset to the next level because we're looking for confidence. We're looking for help making decisions, right? We want to be decisive, but sometimes it's hard and tiring to make Make all of those decisions ourselves. We want to be surrounded by other product entrepreneurs that are going towards the same level or at the same level that we're at. So we have a live masterclass and virtual meetup, right? So that you can meet other product bosses at the same level as you that have the same struggles and have strategies to share and that you can connect over. And that is happening on Wednesday, March 9th. Okay. So if you're making over $250,000 to multiple millions, so that's around $20,000 a month to, you know, $100,000, $200,000, $300,000 a month. So those are, you know, it's a big revenue level. Um, Head to theproductboss.com slash level up theproductboss.com slash level up. We'll put the link in the show notes and register and come meet Mina and I live. We're going to be on Zoom where we all see each other. We're going to meet with each other. We're going to, we're going to um, network and we're going to help teach a masterclass to you to really help you figure out the proven path to a million dollar product-based business. Yeah, it'll be awesome. So that's at theproductboss.com slash level up. The link is in the show notes. So just click right over there and get registered and put this on pause right now. And go do it. Yeah. Yeah. Before you forget, because you're busy, my friends, we get it. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So going back to this idea of success, isn't something that you do by yourself, like this path to that million dollar business. um, What are some ways that you think that like for you, because I know, Mina, you've done masterminds, you've been in, uh, you've paid for, and we both have actually, you've paid for one day masterminds. We've paid for two day masterminds that Mm -hmm. were in person. We've paid for virtual online masterminds. What is some of the stuff that you've kind of received from being surrounded by others? I think for me, it definitely was that I had to really think about what was serving me in the season of entrepreneurship that I was in. So I really started off with courses. I love courses. I like going back to them. I like learning that way. I like podcasts. I like you know learning visually. So like when I learn from a book, for example, I buy the hardcover book. I write a lot of things down. I go to courses. I listen to them. Now, do I finish courses? No, I kind of still always pick in the things that I want. That's why a lot of times I, re- I read multiple books. I don't read a book, you know, front cover to back cover. So even if I'm reading like Atomic Habits by James Clear, for example, I've tried to read that book a bunch of times, but I pull from it what I can, for example, and I go back to it. So kind of that same sort of learning. That was when I was first starting off that I really did like just in time learning. Sometimes people call it that where it's like, okay, this is a season I'm in. I want to test and try a lot of things. I want to, you know, play around a little bit and explore what would be best for me. As I started to become more towards, you know, the half million, million dollar business, 
I started realizing it had to do a lot with my leadership and the things that I needed. Now you can't learn leadership through a course. So a lot of it has to do with showing up to things in person. It has to do with, you know, inserting yourself into different rooms, um, whether it be virtual or, you know, in, in reality and um, starting conversations with different people. And so that was when I really shifted into, then I went to strategy sessions. I really did a lot of the like strategy sessions with different um, coaches to think about, oh, okay, this is where I'm at right now and what I want to do. So I did a few strategy sessions, did a few in-person masterminds that were like one day. And now we're in actually masterminds that are full year ones. Because mm-hmm. I know that it is something that is a continual process that I want to really build up my skill sets, yet still b- really build those relationships too. So I think it was an evolving of how I received support in what season that I'm in. Hey friends, are you a product business owner that has built your business to multi six figure to a multi million dollar business? If that is you, we are hosting a live training on the three stages of business to grow and level up to a profitable million dollar business that works for you. We are going to talk about what it takes for you, the business owner, to remove yourself as the bottleneck of your business and grow a team that can not only help you do all the things, but a team that will actually start making decisions without you so that you can lean into the role you were meant to be. The visionary, the high-level strategist, the creative. And we want to help you level up your business in the next 12 months. So if you're looking for support as you navigate to this level in your business, we invite you to join us. You can register for this free training at theproductboss.com slash level up. We will also be sharing information and answering questions about our highest level program, the Product Boss Mastermind. Mina and I would love to meet you and connect to help you level up your business and you as a business owner during this call. I want to remind you that you have done an exceptional job getting to this level of business on your own, but what it will take to grow to the next level is going to be different than what you have done before. We know you can level up your business without you having to be the person who does all of the things, makes every decision on your own. That's why the Product Boss Mastermind is the place for high-level strategy and collaboration so you can connect with other product-based business owners who get it and who are going where you are going. If your business is a six to seven figure a year business, we invite you to join us for one of our upcoming live trainings and we'll be sharing information on our high-level world-renowned product-based mastermind. We are now accepting applications to be considered for a very limited amount of spaces for 2022. Make sure to register for this totally free training and live Q&A at theproductboss.com slash level up. You can also click the link in the show notes. And my friends, if you are ready to commit to yourself this next year, and you know that this year is going to be your year to reach that next level in your business without sacrificing your freedom and creativity, surrounded by a collaborative group of product bosses who get it and grow together by sharing ideas, strategies, and insider secrets, then we invite you to apply to be considered to the Product Boss Mastermind at theproductbossmastermind.com. So I think it's the same for me. I mean, I got to my first 10 and a half years, a decade in business on my own. But like I said, I I had um, those two people that I kind of partnered with without partnering, but we were friends and we were in the same industry and we shared and we collaborated. And so that was a way... And then they were older than me. So I kind of felt like I was learning from things I did actually. Um, also, my... I had a partner when I started my consulting business for the first six months and I learned a lot from her. And then she had her second baby and left. So longer story. But, you know, 10 and a half years in, I realized like what I had been doing just wasn't feeling right anymore. I was having babies. I was working all the time. Like literally, I would be at my office in downtown LA till like midnight, some nights one. My husband was so mad at me that I wasn't home for dinner. You know, I felt like the opposite of a 1950s housewife. I was going to be home soon and I wasn't and it was 1 a.m. But I was doing everything, right? And I didn't have a model of what else to do or how to run this business. And I had all these ideas. And so I had Kev's Couture and I actually had a dress line and all these things that I was doing. And so when I first... My very first thing was joining a mastermind. And it was these other women finally... Because I had my best friends. One was a doctor. 
One was an assistant. One was in advertising. They worked for people. So they always looked at me like, wow. And I, you know, I would miss opportunities of like, I'm working late and I was living my life. But I joined this mastermind. I was surrounded by these other women that had service businesses. Because remember, I had a service business too. And it was mind blowing. It was like, we were all dealing with with hiring things. And how do we hire? I was trying to fire someone and I didn't know how to fire that person. And they were supporting me through it. Or I, my company was going into debt and it was because I wasn't charging enough, you know, and there were strategies I wasn't implementing. And so I cleaned up my business so well. It was so incredible. And it was because I finally had these women, plus it was support. So I got to be around them. We had we were messaging each other if things came up. My husband no longer had to listen to me, complain about stuff, and things started to feel easier. And then I met you, right? So I wouldn't have gotten out of that debt. I wouldn't have gotten out of that rut that my business was in had I not had support of trying something different. Mm -hmm. And then meeting you, and we kind of masterminded together really truly because what um, Napoleon Hill's definition of a mastermind is a meeting of two minds when two minds come together, they actually create a third mind. So I think that's why Mina and I have been so successful at the Product Boss. And also when we first became friends is our two minds came together and we created this third mind that helped us with our own businesses. A very funny mind. I mean, hilarious (laughs) and genius and very good at math. (laughs) But that's the idea, right? That third mind. Because when you hear us talk to each other back and forth, we also come to conclusions together because the meeting of two minds. So imagine that for yourself, Yeah. right? Imagine you now have other minds to bounce ideas off of, collaborate with, you know, need to make a decision. You could run it by like a board of people. Now it's multiple minds coming together. So you're not afraid of the decisions you're making. You've been able to flush those out and improve because like that's what happens in our masterminds, right? They have us as their coaches mm-hmm. and as experts and they have each other and we have mind-blowing business owners in there. Like the most incredible people I've ever been around in my life. And that's a lot to say because they are so incredible and so giving and so successful. Yeah. And, you know, they're building in that support for themselves too, because, you know, a lot of times it's a safety thing too, like feeling secure and safe to be able to speak how you want to speak, show up how you want to show up sort of thing. So for example, the reason why this third mind is so funny and hilarious. Our, as our we, third mind? Yeah, our third mind, for example, <laughs> is because we felt safe to talk how we wanted to talk. You know, when first when we first started talking to each other, you know, you better believe that we thought, do I sound silly or dumb or should I be saying these things? Or we used, Jacqueline used to say, I sound like a Valley girl. And I would say, I sound like a Valley girl too. And I'm from Iowa, you know? <sighs> and, but you felt like you really kind of belonged there, you know? So I think that's the thing with finding the right mastermind for you is that, you're able to show up and feel safe in the ways that you want to speak and you feel seen in the ways that you want to, you know, present your own challenges and be vulnerable and, you know, share the emotional side of it being a hard day versus, you know, a a celebration of sorts or whatever it is. I think a mastermind is really unique in that ability to give you the emotional side as well as the strategic and tactical side of what you need to do as a business owner. Yeah. And so speaking of the mastermind, we do have a mastermind called the Product Boss Mastermind. If you want to learn more about it, you go to the productbossmastermind.com. And that is for business owners that are making over 250000 And there's business owners and they're making multiple millions, right? So it's those of you trying to get to your first million or you like the area of multiple uh, or hundreds of thousands of dollars as a business owner, or you want to get to a million and beyond. Now, the cool thing about this is that it's all product-based business owners and we are taking applications. We do have the masterclass that you can come to and we're going to talk more about that um, because we're bringing in a new round of masterminders starting in April, April 1st. So that's why you're hearing this now. But I also want to just bring up, we've talked about this in the previous episode, but you and I paid about $2,000 each to go to a two-day mastermind. It was a live mastermind. It was with a group of people and we masterminded together in this live place. And when we walked in there versus when we left, we had everything changed. had changed. Yeah. Everything. We walked in, we were just master. We only had masterminds as the product boss and we had a, um, our podcast. We went in open-minded. We're going to meet people. We're going to collaborate. We're going to just, we're just going to meet people and kind of flesh out ideas. Me and I were not at the table together. We were separate in our masterminding. And by the end of that, we had come up with the idea that we were going to try a course. 
mm-hmm. we thought about multi, multi, multi-stream machine. We started to thinking, okay, we're going to do Facebook ads. And that was for me where I stood up in front of the entire room and said, and not with embarrassment, not being shy about it, but said, I think that our business could hit a million dollars. We had just crossed our first six figures, like our first hundred thousand. I didn't know how we were going to get there, but I felt comfortable saying it. So are you all in a room or surrounded by anybody that like opens up your mind to possibility or that you feel comfortable enough saying, I have this big audacious dream of hitting a million dollars, 5 million, 10 million, $350,000. Do you have anybody around you that when you do, you know, in our masterminds, for example, some people tried, they all came up with an idea together to sell. And someone's like, I just made $8,000 doing that. And someone else was like, I made $10,000 or I made $2,000, whatever they did. And they all came together and they said, this is what I made. And everyone was like, good job. Mm -hmm. Do you have anyone to say that to? Because that's what we discovered our need was in our goal of growing our businesses. And to get to that path, that million dollar path to get that success we wanted, we realized we needed to be surrounded by other people that were supportive, that we could collaborate with, that could help make us make decisions, same level, Mm -hmm. doing the same thing. Because here's the thing, you all can go out and join a mastermind somewhere else. But if they're not product-based experts and you're not surrounded by product-based business owners... They are not going to give you strategies that are going to work for your business. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be super specific where it has to be the same product as you or the same industry. I really like that there's like industry adjacent things where it's like product bosses coming together and you get to see different categories, even your own category. It it will blow your mind how much you can learn just from somebody in your category or adjacent to your category. But Mm -hmm. having a physical product business is a different language. It's inventory, it's shipping, it's wholesale, it's retail, it's so many different things that you speak about that only people that own product-based businesses would understand. I want to go back to what Jacqueline was talking about, how she stood up in the, in the room, right? So first of all, she placed herself, quote unquote, in the room, right? In this time, it was a physical room. But for you, in our mastermind, for example, it would be a virtual room. Now, she said, I believe that we can be a million dollar business. So for me, when I'm hearing that, I'm like, let's do it. I believe it too, right? So I could have entered that room with a whole different mentality, but I wasn't. She was placed in a room with me because we think very similarly. We think that the world is very abundant and that we can make it happen. We, we're not scared of it. The other thing too, imagine those other people that are in the room, Right the other people that were in the room that are not her business partner. So even if I wasn't her business partner, I was opened up to the fact that, oh, this potentially could be something that I'd want too. Or that's amazing. It makes me feel empowered too. So there's plenty of other people in that room. We actually have been friends with a lot of them. They blew their own minds and they blew our minds. And we still like have such respect for them. They have such respect for us in building these friendships. And then also, you know, it was Jacqueline that spoke the words, but it lifted the lid for a lot of people. So because they were in the same room, it makes a really big difference. The takeaway Mm -hmm. is for everybody. Mm -hmm. Totally. So, you know, I think what we want you to understand here is if you have big dreams and goals for your business, you don't need to do this on your own. Now, yes, you are going to have... Why would you? It's like the emoji (laughs) that's like, why? You know? Is that the sound they make? Yeah. That emoji? Yeah. Everybody knows which emoji I'm talking about. It's like (laughs) scrunchy face and the other ones that's unhappy and like cry face with no tears, you know? Right. Because... Because the thing is, it's like you can do this by yourself, but you're going to go slower. It's going to feel harder. It's going to feel isolating and alone. You don't... The thing is, is and I think, you know, we've gotten so many messages from some, so many of you that have said, thank you for creating this community. Thank you for creating the product boss, right? There is no other mastermind in the world like ours or programs like we have um, where we believe that each of you, we're not taking you through some sort of framework that we're like, you have to do your business this way and then you'll hit a million dollars. We're like, how do you want your life to look? What kind of business do you want to have? You get to choose what you want it to be like. You get to choose your own idea of success. Let us help you grow your confidence. Let us give you strategy. Let us give you community so you don't feel alone because it's lonely at the top. 
It's lonely it growing. Is. That's why you invite other people, right? Or you put yourself in the room that you belong. I wanted to read this thing because I thought it was super interesting and a great way yeah. to think about why you would not do it alone because why would you? And it's from the Neuro Leadership Institute. And it was... Um, she was being interviewed. Janine Stewart was being interviewed by a uh, Jonathan... I, I don't know what his last name is. Um, of happiness hypothesis. And she said that for human beings, and you're, I truly believe this is especially after the pandemic, that we all should listen to this, okay? Being surrounded by other human beings doesn't guarantee a sense of belonging. So it's not just being surrounded, okay? Belonging actually has to do with identification as a member of a group and the higher quality interactions that come from that. Right. So highly high, higher quality interactions. So not do can you just place yourself in the room of any room? Like Jacqueline said, it can't be service based people or it can't be like fellow entrepreneurs. It has to be a group that you're able to really resonate with. You get the higher quality interactions and that is what makes you happy. So why on earth would you do it by yourself when you can literally pick the people that you get to live life with? you know, because your life very much is blended with your business, you know? So you may want to do it alone, but who are you going to celebrate with? Who's going to pick you up when you're feeling down? You know, who is going to be like, Jacqueline, you are working till 1am in this downtown office. Maybe you should, you know, take care of yourself or I grant you permission to not do that right now. It takes Mm -hmm. somebody else, right? So I want you to think about that like inserting those people into your life because it is that higher quality interaction. We see it all the time in our product-based business um, mastermind because the higher quality interactions happen because they go through the same challenges. They go through the same happiness. They go through the same joys, the same celebrations, and they get to live it within themselves with each other and vicariously, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like this whole environment of really cool, high, high quality interactions you know, and then it adds to the whole journey for all of us. And it's, you know, and why would you do it by yourself if you could add that to your journey in life? Yeah. And I just want to read a couple of things straight from the the mouths of our masterminders in terms of what they had hoped to get out of the mastermind experience and what they're getting, right? So a lot of people said that they'd wanted to join a mastermind for new ideas, right? New strategies, new ideas, tips and advice from others, ways that I can improve, right? Things that for people that are in product-based businesses, things that maybe we'd have to figure out on our own or it's just going to fast track, right? So if you're thinking, I want new ideas, I want new strategies, I want marketing strategies that are different than what I'm doing. I want to figure out how to you know, improve certain things. I want to w- learn what works and what doesn't work. That's what they're getting from each other in the mastermind. That's what's setting them on this path to a million dollar and multiple million dollar business. The other thing that they said over overall, right, out of the mastermind experience is that they wanted to find a community of successful business owners that they could lean on for help, that they could talk to and be heard and seen and understood, right? They wanted to... Um, Let's see. They wanted to... Let me just read what a couple of them. Accountability and community. I'd love to have peers to talk to that are not my customers or the people who work for me. Um, I want a sounding board that aren't my parents or my staff. Um, I want to get out of my own way. Right? And so a lot of it is that wanting to network and support from business owners at the same level of revenue that you're at. So if you feel alone in this, we've got a group for you. We've got this community of fellow product-based business owners. We have fabric stores in there. We have candle makers in there. We've got jewelry. We've got people who sell food. We have um, stationery companies. Supply companies. Supply companies. We've got a candle supplier company that also sells candles. Mm -hmm. We have so many different... I mean, I'm trying to think. Like We have book publishers. Um people who are authors of books. We have people who create kids products, baby products, just across the board. And what's so cool is the conversation yesterday went to somebody who's a million dollar business on Amazon said, I want to, I started on Etsy and I've gotten it to $185,000 on Etsy, right? And we were talking through strategies on Etsy to grow it and strategies on Amazon. And so we have top 1% of Etsy makers on there in there that were giving their strategies for marketing without paying for ads. 
And then we had other people that were saying, okay, but we sell on Amazon and here are our strategies. Yeah. So she didn't have to come up with those by herself. She got to get feedback from the people around her. Right. Not only one per- top 1% of Etsy, but people are making like millions of dollars on Amazon, right? Or 700, she happened to be 750,000 on Amazon. Some people that are in really big um, retailers like Pottery Barn, like what we said, taking meetings with Target. This was in the last episode that we kind of talked about that. But really people that are doing huge things. Why? Because they have the support that they need and they're able to really think about, okay, how do I approach this? And how do I, you know, um, and, and their wins are the entire collective win of the mastermind. So it's been really exciting to see people really develop their skill sets and develop as a human and as, you know, as the mastermind and, and as friends, as people who have bonds with each other. Because very rarely will you ever get to see behind the scenes of anybody's business. You know, you'll even like, I know people who still that I've masterminded with before that I'm still reaching out to because they were able to be there in the season of my business that I was like, oh, you know, they're the only ones in this world that would really understand what I'm, I'm doing or, you know, in the path of what I'm doing even now. Right. Yeah. They, they end up being our virtual colleagues where we can reach out to them in the future even and say, Hey, you remember you were working with that copywriter? Who did you hire? Or, Hey, I need to change up my ads agency. Who are you working with? But I want to just take this back a little and tell you, we also have masterminders in there that are making 250,000 in revenue, 300, 400, 5,000, 500,000 in revenue, right? Maybe they're not at that million dollar mark. They want to grow there. So mm. the cool thing is, is they also give as much as the people who are making millions the those of you that are you know still in the multi six figure but on the 250 to 500,000 you also have plenty of amazing things to contribute and you also get to see what other people are doing at different levels so we had somebody that is really great on um Pinterest she is a a business that makes i think 250,000 but she has figured out Pinterest and that drives all of her traffic so all of a sudden people are like, ooh, Pinterest, let's talk about a Pinterest strategy. Mm -hmm. And the group started talking about Pinterest strategy because while her revenue level might not be there, her path, her strategies, all that, and then she's willing to share it. So Mm -hmm. the cool thing is, is that's why people join a mastermind. We all come with different experiences. We all have different strategies and different special things that we bring. And different strengths. And and not, we want go-getters in here but we really want go-givers in our mastermind. So people that are willing to give and share and support because that, as you know, in the product boss community as a whole is the kind of community we want to we want to build and thrive on. So it's very much a give and take, a lot of giving, a lot of learning um, and a lot of growth and support. So if you don't want to be alone anymore, if you want to grow alongside other product bosses of the same caliber as you and have new ideas and strategies and no longer feel like you have to do it on your own, we invite you to our workshop on March 9th. It's a live workshop and meet up with other product bosses. And you can sign up at theproductboss.com slash level up. It's theproductboss.com slash level up and it's in the show notes. And if you're like, you know what, ladies, I'm in. I've wanted to be in here for a while let's do this. You could head to the productbossmastermind.com. We'll also put that link in the show notes and you can get your application in because we're taking applications over the next couple of weeks and we will be approving applications as they come in. It's a first come first serve. And then we kick off April 1st for our first million dollar bootcamp with our new members and our members that are already in. Mm -hmm. We look so look forward to you not taking this path to a million or path to what your version of success is. Um, by yourself because we know it will change your life drastically and then it will change your business. So we'll see you in there. Thank you for being here and listening all the way through the Product Boss Podcast. If you love our show and it has helped you in any way in your business, would you mind doing two things for us? Subscribe to the show so you never miss an episode and leave us a review. Reviews help other product entrepreneurs know that this is the place to be to grow their businesses and realize that they're not alone. And we know that you all know that a five-star and honest review helps you sell more products to more people. So you know that your reviews help us reach more listeners around the world. Remember, what we give is what we receive, and we are all about helping each other in the product loss community. 
we are all in this together. We would be so appreciative of you if you could take the time right now to subscribe, leave a review, and even share this episode on social or someone you know so we can impact more lives. And remember, subscribing means that you will get notified each time we release a new episode so you never miss a thing. You have helped us grow and climb into the top 10 of all marketing podcasts and together we can keep climbing. Thank you, friends. And remember, there is room at the top for all of us. This episode is brought to you by the Shop One in Five Pledge and Small Business Shopping Directory. It's a commitment to make one in five of your purchases from a small business online or offline. So head to shoponeinfive.com to take the pledge. And friend, while you are there, check out and shop from hundreds of small businesses in the Small Business Shopping Directory. It's the go-to directory to discover, support, and shop small businesses all in one place. Head to shop1in5.com.